One of my favorite things to do is live coaching. And I got to do that today with one of the writers for Elite Daily. I contribute to them on body language analysis and different things um, on a pretty regular basis. And she wanted to do not just an article today. She wanted to do a live coaching and she wanted a session for herself. And the problem that she brought to me was that she's dating and things aren't ending well. And she wanted to know why. And we got into this idea. And this isn't just about dating, right? What, what we uncovered is that when she's walking into a room and she's sitting down across from someone, her intention is not to have warmth and connection and uh, great conversation. She's just hoping that she doesn't get hurt. She's hoping they don't hurt her. And she asked if there was a body language hack or a communication skill that she could use that would be kind of a silver bullet that would kind of override uh, that lack of intention or, or lack of seeing a positive outcome. And the answer is no. Uh, being how you want to be when you walk into a room physically and with nonverbal skills and body language is really guided by the intention that you set in your mind. So if you're not setting a target, if you're not setting an objective for a conversation, whether it's a job interview or a negotiation or a date in this case, you just show up however your mindset is. So if you don't have an end game in, in mind, if you don't have a, a final destination, then don't be surprised when the interaction goes nowhere or goes wonky or feels weird or you walk out wondering what the heck just happened. You have to be intentional. You're body and your body language and your nonverbal communication frequency, if you will, is guided by the intention that you set in your mind. You have to have alignment. You have to decide ahead of time your goal for how you show up in that space. And once you know where you're headed, your body and your nonverbal communication will follow you there. So get your head straight. Your body and your nonverbal communication will follow. Tips and tricks are great. You can enhance it and leverage it but you can't fake it. You have to have the mindset first. If you want to, want more, want to know more, connect with me at powerbodylanguage.com or email me lisa at powerbodylanguage.com.